the anatomy of a rock star result. Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and this short tutorial is specifically for authors, teachers, service oriented professionals, trainers, and inspirational entrepreneurs. So we have a uh, a piece of jargon in our community that we call a transformation turnstile. And a transformation turnstile is the rock star result that you offer your quintessential client or your ideal audience that gives them some sort of end experience where they walk out different or differently from how they came in. And this is a really, um, it can be a, a completely game-changing approach to defining the offers that you, you know, put out into the world. So a transformation turnstile has a clear leader, a clear deadline, a clear outcome, and a clear uh, number. So there's some scarcity uh, element just to motivate people to want to participate. It also should have a clear uh, demarcation point, or maybe that's the wrong word, a clear before and after moment in life that can be traced back to the intervention of your expertise in your audience's life. So I'm going to give you a really quick extemporaneous example so you can get a sense of, of how to integrate something like this into your own professional practice. So the clear leader is obviously you or your team or your community. Uh, it should be, if you're building a brand around yourself in some way, it should be you at least at the top of the uh, tier, so to speak. The clear deadline is when the transformation is guaranteed to take place. So it should have a time value such as 30 days or seven days or 90 days, whatever you know is appropriate for your particular practice. It should have a clear outcome. And this is the thing that will, <coughs> excuse me, that will happen within that deadline, right? So if it's a 30 day uh, process, then let's say folks are uh, writing a book, right? So they should have a book finished within that 30 day process. And it should have a clear number. So this is where the invitation should have some sort of scarcity to it. And you could just frame it as, you know, I'm looking for or we're lo looking for 10 or 20 or 50 people to do X or to join us for Y, that sort of thing. So you want, I, I, I'm not a fan of these sort of faux scarcity uh, approaches like people who use like, you know, timers and um, you know, tell you that you're about to miss out on something. But this can be done in a very ethical and efficacious way simply by dint of being authentic and saying we have a clear, uh, you know, limit to this cohort. And this cohort is 25 people. And by virtue of that, you, you introduce a legitimate form of scarcity that actually does motivate people to sign up. Finally, it should have a uh, before and after moment that they can trace back uh, in their lives that identifies where you sort of were introduced into their experience. And I like to think of this in its most powerful permutation as a bucket list moment. So in our uh, business, we're you know working mostly with authors and teachers and trainers in the enlightened entrepreneurial spaces, so mindfulness leaders and yogis and spiritual teachers and people who've had these incredible insights into the nature of mind and so forth and so on. So the clear before and after moment should be in in their lives, they wanted to write a book, let's say, or they wanted to move their practice uh, online. And Th their life should be able to be defined by what their 
or their professional lives in our case should be able to uh, look at what their lives were like before we started working with them and then after. So if you've wanted to write a book for 40 years and in your 41st year you worked with me or our team and you actually got that book published and it's on Amazon and you have it in your hands and you give it out to your friends and your family and you feel immense pride in that, there's clearly a easily identifiable before and after bucket list moment this was a big goal and their lives now look and feel very different after achieving this goal and of course we as the you know as the team that helped this author get published there is a real sense of appreciation gratitude and that rock star result feels like it's tethered in some way to our uh, expertise. And that's a really good feeling for everybody. So in summation, your transformation turnstile, the rock star result should have a clear leader, a clear deadline, a clear outcome, clear outcome. How come I can't pronounce that properly each time it sort of stumbles out of my mouth? A clear outcome, a clear number, and a clear bucket list moment, a before and after moment, or some sort of demarcation line where, you know, they, before they walked over that bridge into your orbit or universe, they had not accomplished a goal that was important to them, but by dint of working with you or your team or your community or taking your course or reading your book, their lives are much different than they were before. All right, so I hope this helps you. This is really, really a simple but effective heuristic that can really help ensure that what you're actually putting out into the world has the sort of vision and transformation that really does make a difference in both the lives of your audience as well as really will help you high step most of your competitors who are not going to be thinking in such bold and audacious terms. Okay, teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. If you're interested in working with us, send me an email, ian at mindfulmarketplace.com. You can visit our course community, partners.mindfulmarketplace.com or our new blog community, community.mindfulmarketplace.com. Thank you so much for listening and I'll speak to you again in the next episode.